and here I present the solutions to weekly contest 308. The problem that I have chosen is remove stars from a string. This was the second problem of the contest. However, it's easier than the first one, which is quite surprising. But towards the end of the video, you'll also feel the same. So here they have provided us with an example. I'll be walking you through the algorithm as well as the question why the presentation as I usually do. So without further ado, let's quickly move on to it. Do now let's quickly talk about the algorithm. So the question says we are given a string and this string has asterisk signs in it. Also the question says whenever you see an asterisk, si asterisk sign, you need to delete the first non asterisk character towards its left. For example, here is an asterisk sign. I have to delete the non asterisk character towards its left. I'll always need to look in the left direction as a result of which T gets deleted. So T is gone when I see the asterisk sign. So move, I proceed ahead and I see the next asterisk sign. As soon as I see the next asterisk sign, I need to traverse back and delete the first non asterisk character. What that character would be? That would be E. Let's move ahead. The next character that I see is C. Uh, C is an, not an asterisk. Let's proceed ahead. O again D happy case. Let's proceed ahead. Again I see an asterisk sign. As soon as I see an asterisk sign, I need to delete the immediate character towards its left, which is non asterisk in nature. In this case, it turns out to be D. So D is gone. What is left in the end? We have L E C O E, which is in sync with our expectation. Now comes the question: How can I solve this problem up? So for solving this up, I'll be using stacks. How stacks can we can utilize stacks for solving this up? Let's have a look at it. So let's create a stack. The first character that I see is L. L is not an asterisk. Let's add L to it. Next I see is E. E, e gets added. Next I see is another E. E gets added. Next I see is T. T gets added. Next I see is an asterisk sign. As soon as I see an asterisk sign, what do I need to do? I need to pop out element from the stack. And what is the topmost element from the stack? It is T. So T is gone. And remember, asterisk signs will never be pushed onto the stack. So we are safe that all the elements that are there in the stack would be non asterisk type. Let's proceed ahead. Next, we see another asterisk sign. As soon as we see an asterisk sign, what do you need to do? You need to pop out the, pop, uh, the top. So E is gone this time. So this is also gone. Let's proceed ahead. Next, we see is C. So C gets added. Let's add C. Next, we have O. O gets added. Next we have D, D gets added. Next we have an asterisk sign. What do we need to do? We need to pop out the top. D is gone. Next we have E, E gets added. What is left in the end? We have L, E, C, O, E. And what will I do? I'll pop out elements from the stack. I'll recreate the entire string and I'll return it as a result. So E, get, e gets popped out, O gets popped out, C gets popped out, E gets popped out and L gets popped out. I have recreated the entire string. You can use string manipulation or string buffer for these operations and it's really simple. To conclude it further, let's quickly walk through the coding section. The time complexity of this approach is order of n. The space complexity of this approach is again order of n. The first and the foremost thing that I have done is to create the stack over here. I start iterating over each character of my input string. As soon as I see that the current character is not asterisk in nature, what do I do? I push that character onto the stack. Otherwise, in case my current character happens to be of type asterisk, what do I do? I am popping out elements from the stack. Once I have done this, I am done with the entire iteration. All the asterisk signs are have not been never been added onto the stack. And whenever I saw an asterisk sign, the topmost element was deleted from the stack. What do I do at line number 12? I check whether the stack size, whether it's empty or not. In case it's empty, I return an empty string. Otherwise, I recreate the string from the stack and I have reversed it uh, because um, I've used string builder over here. You can use simple strings as well, but because but they are immutable. So not that great. String builders are better to use. Let's submit it, accept it. With this, let's wrap up today's session. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Your subscription truly means a lot to me.